Yes, yes, yes. Shalom, Chavarim. Shalom. So here's the question. Did Yeshua, Yeshua HaNotri, did he Nazareth to Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMoshiach, did he die for our sins? Or did we did he die because of our sins? Because we sin. No, this is from an Israelite perspective here. There's a doctrine that Yeshua, that Jesus or that Moshiach, that Christ died for our sins. So people get the idea, the impression here is that all the sins that you've done, if you believe in Yeshua, Ha Moshiach, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Ha. Moshiach, then you're forgiven all the sins that all the sins that we have ever done some people believe right and they believe this with the Bible as a, as 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 a backative as a point of reference that Yeshua aka who the world calls Jesus Christ that he died for our sins in other words that he is like the sin offering for our sins that he is that offering for like all the sins of everybody in the world. Is, is this what the Bible really teaches? Right. Is this what Paul, Rabbi Shaul, is this what Rabbi Saul, Rav Shaul, is this what he said in his epistles? Or has something got lost in translation? Or was it purposeful? As Yeshua himself says that many shall say, Lord, Lord, Adon, Adon, Adoni, Adoni. So say, Lord, Lord, and many shall come and where well, he says my name, right? And he says that shall deceive many. So whether it came in Yeshua's name or whether they come in a Jesus name, they have deceived many. So here's the question right here. Now we have always, well, coming into the consciousness, the, the real Christ, Moshiach, mindfulness, that yeah, when it says that. Messiah died for our sins. Let, let, let's bring this up right here, here, here. And this is referring to our brother, the Apostle, Apostle Paul right here. And let's get a placeholder for Brother Paul, Rabbi Shaul. What did Rabbi Shaul, what did Brother Paul teach right here? Let's bring this up. Found an interesting page right here. Here it goes right here, here, here. Here we go. It says, Jesus did not die for your sins. I know this is shocking. It might be shocking to some. They say, but look, it's right there, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 to 4. It says that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. <laughs> yes. According to which scripture? Which scripture? And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures right so now we found this site right here the church of truth right actually we had put something interesting in the search and others might want to search this out right here let's just scroll up here bible verse no one can die for your sins they can die because of your sins in other words if i wanted to murder somebody i thought long and hard to murder somebody Right? And then I was able to murder that person. Would that person have died because of my sin? I would say yes. Because murder is a sin. According to the scripture, murder is a sin. So they died right, <laughs> because of my sin. Because of me being a murderer. That person, innocent as they can be, died because... I was a murderer. Do you understand the the mashal, misha, the, the misale, the mashal, the parable right here? All right? So no one can die for another man's sin. For. See, there's a difference between for and because of. Right? For and because of. So most of the verses there is kind of gravitating around the same verses or they might be pointing some other verses. What does the Bible say? But the soul, the soul that sin shall die. Right? Now, notice what just the example I just gave. The example I gave is of a murderer, right? Right? A murderer, somebody hating somebody and seeking to kill that person that they hate. Now that person they hate has done nothing against them, but they just hate that person. 
right? So that person who hates that person eventually kills another person. They kill the person they hate, right? Now the victim, the one who was killed, they died, right? They were murdered, they died, and they were murdered and, and they died, right? Or they died and they were murdered, no, they were murdered and they died, right? And now the murderer, right, killed them. Now the person who was the victim, they died, right? They died because of, because someone murdered them. Okay, they died because of, and is murder a sin? Is murder a sin? This is basic logic. Is murder, if we say, if we deduce based on the scriptures, based on the Bible, that murder is a sin, right? That murder is a sin. Right? We're not saying killing as the King James mistranslation right there. It says, thou shall not murder. Do not murder. Right? So, the victim of the murderation, of the murderation, right? They died because of someone else's sin. Not for someone else's sin, but because of someone else's sin. So, there it is. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 to 4. That Christ died for our sins. Or is it that Christ, Moshiach, he died because of our sins. From a Yehudi, from an Israelite, even we, the black Jews of the line of the tribe of Judah, from that perspective right there, Moshiach, the Messiah, died Right, because of the sins, the, the fukuri, the akuri, the chatiyat of the Yehudi, of the Yehudin, right? Especially those Yehudin that did not amen, ma'amin, those who did not amen and credit in him, those who discredit him, those who did not admit that Yeshua HaMoshiach, speaking of like the Pharisees, the scribes, the religious authority, we could say the Hebrew and the Jewish church, the Jewish church leaders of that first century time. Yes, Moshiach, he died and he was put to death because of their lack, because of their lack. Sin, chatiat in the language, chatiat from chet, cheta means to lack, to miss the mark, to fall short. So Moshiach died for our sins. You see how this is translated there for our. You see what it says for our. Now why did Rabbi Shaul, the Apostle Paul, why did, why, why did he say this like this? Right? There it is. The single sentence that was penned by Rabbi Shaul, a.k.a. the Apostle to the Gentiles, our brother Paulos, around some say 55 A.D. And that is the rationale behind the most fundamental tenet, right, of nowadays, of latter-day Christianity, Christina. Latter-day Christianity, the most fundamental tenet of Christianity, and I would dare say of counterfeit Christianity. Remember, Moshiach, Yeshua, he warns us. He said that many shall come in his name. So whose name? They, they come in Jesus' name and say they are Christ. They say they are Christian. But the followers of Moshiach, according to the scripture, even the New Testament scripture, they were Nazarene. Right? They were Nazarene, not Nazarites. It's a different word in the Hebrew. They were Nazarene. So here, the most fundamental tenet, this single sentence here, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 3 to 4 is where we find that Christ, that the anointed, that Moshiach, the Messiah, died for our sins. Now, underline that word, our. You see, because we have to now touch on Paul. That's all we say with Rabbi Shaul. We call him Rabbi Saul. He even points that out within the New Testament, the epistle. No one else, nowhere else, is there any support for this assertion. Can you find it? All right. Take a moment, pause the video, look it up. Is there any other place in the scripture for this assertion? And this assertion, right, is attributable to our Hebrew, our Jewish brother right here to Rabbi Shaul, Shaul, a.k.a. Paulos.
Paulus, the Apostle Paul. So here, here, here. So here, let's note this here. 1 Corinthians 15 and 3. Here, going back to the classic, the KJV right here. It says, For I delivered, this is Paul here in 1 Corinthians saying, For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received. So Paul here, Rabbi Shaul, right? Now we Yehudi refer to him, Rabbi Shaul, a.k.a. Paulos. Right? He says, for I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received. So Paul is saying right here that what he's delivering is basically what he received. He's saying he's delivering to others that which he says right here, for I delivered to you first of all, first of all, firstly and foremostly, he's saying that which I all right, let's go right here. That which I, right, he's saying that which I, right, that which I, he says, also receive. So Paul is saying that he is basically delivering what he has, first of all, received. All right, so he's actually saying right here, it's not his, you know, say his, original idea or he's just making up something here according to first corinthians but he's delivering he's delivering to you to us first of all that which he also has received and that's how that moshiach how that the anointed right died for our sins according to the scripture now here's the question we're going to ask what scripture hmm what scripture all right it says according to the scripture so the question here is what scripture now in the new testament time the scripture is the torah is the tanakh you know what they call the tanakh the torah the nabim and the ketubim right in the words the torah the 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 Nabim, the prophets, Nabim, and the Ketubim, and the writings. All right? This is what we have right here, here, here. All right? According to the scriptures. But a question we have to ask, perhaps is there another scripture? Or do you find anywhere in the scripture where it says that Messiah, right? Where it says Messiah, that's, that's Christ, right? Christ is the New Testament. is basically a... A, a translation or it's basically a yeah a translation of Messiah so you, you can find that in the scripture in John's gospel right we have found the Messiah right the Moshiach the Messiah that is being interpreted that's being interpreted the Christ that's being interpreted the Christ we have found the Moshiach that's being interpreted the Christ in other words basically it's explaining one language to the next the word and the sense of anointed right but it says that Christ died for our sins let's look at the Hebrew right here let's look at the Hebrew right here so here 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 which which Hebrew we have down here let's look at these two verses right so we have right here let's see what we have right here the two verses ki ha mushiach mate my ki ha mushiach mate Right, the ed ha, okay, by way of okay, le kapir, mate le kapir, like okay, okay, all right. Now we're looking at the Hebrew to see whether it's really saying because of our sins or for our sins. Do do ones and ones understand the the difference here, right? That Messiah died. For our, when, notice when he says our, is, he, is Paul just saying that in a general, just I'm a human being and all human beings, or is he firstly saying that in a very specific, in a very specific Hebrew sense, a very specific Israelite sense? We say that it's in the latter sense, very specific Hebrew and very specific Israelite sense. Why do we say that? Because what Paul says elsewhere. Right? There's many places that Paul clearly still identifies himself 
as a Hebrew and as an Israelite. Just to clarify this right here, right, when he says, who are the Israelites, right, who are the Israelites, let's go right here, who are the Israelites, let's go with who, right, who are the Israelites, right there, one verse, who and Israelites, Romans chapter 9, verse 4, he says, who are the Israelites, he says, to whom pertaineth the adoption, the being, being sons, he says, Yisrael, Israel is my son, right, Israel is my son, adoption here, right, we have um, Huio Otha Asia, Huito Asia, which is adoption, being adopted as sons, right, Yisrael, he says, Israel is my son, right, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, the Torah, and the service, of Elohim and the promises so Paul right here in Romans chapter 9 remember it's Romans right he says for I wish I could wish that myself were a curse from Messiah from the anointed for my brethren my kinsmen according to the flesh because he know what they done did mm -hmm. that Moshiach Yeshua why did he die he died because his own people set him up. That's the long and short of it. Not all, not all, not all, of course not all, but those who he, he came to his own, that's what the gospel says, he came to his own, but his own, not all, not all, not all, but his own, by and large, refused him. Remember they was going through the crowd, you know, encouraging the people to say, give us Barabbas, and what to do with Yeshua, right? Crucify him, crucify him. Remember that right there? Right? This is what Paul is bringing out. Paul, like Petros, Peter, is bringing out the epicenter. When Peter first speaks, men and brethren, right? And the men and brethren, he's pointing the onus of what happened to our Messiah, to the Moshiach, right? Moshiachinu, to Yeshua, Ha Moshiach. His being put to death was because of the falling short of the B'nai Yehudim, of the sons of the, the Judahites, the Jews, we could say because of Israel. Israel basically put to death their own, rejected and put to death their own Messiah. Right? This is why Paul says that he could wish that he himself were a curse from Messiah. For who? For my brethren, because of my brethren, because of my kinsmen, according to the flesh according to the flesh a significant verse remember he's he's in rome right and there's a very distinct difference between the yehudi the yehudim right and the romans it's the same difference even in these latter days and time between the black and the white that same racial difference and that same racial difference ain't nothing new under the sun existed then this is why paul says he wished he could be a curse, right, for his who? For his brethren, a curse from Moshia, for his brethren and his kinsmen, his kinsmen according to the flesh, according to the fleshy. This is why Paul says these things that he says that most of the other so-called Christians or believers, they avoid. When he says, well, who are the who? He said, who are the Israelites, right? So he says, my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh are the ones who are the Israelites, Right? So Moshiach died because of our sins, because of the sin of the Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption. Yes, the Romans were the hand of it, but he was betrayed into the hands of the Romans by who? By his own people, by our own people. And the glory and the covenants and the giving of HaTorah and the service, the Aboda of Elohim and the promises. He said, who's, who's, saying like belonging to who? To the Israelites. Whose are the patriarchs, the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, concerning the what? The flesh, Moshiach came. Messiah came in the flesh. Notice how he uses flesh here in verse 5 and how he uses flesh here in verse 3, where he says that he could wish that he himself were a curse from Moshiach, the Messiah. Speaking of Yeshua, for my brethren, for my fellow Yehudi, my fellow Jewish, my black Jewish, my black Israelite, right? Even the ain't right Israelites, we can say the same, my kinsmen, 
according to the flesh and then down here says whose are the fathers the patriarchs and of whom as concerning the flesh Moshiach came so Messiah came as concerning his flesh and blood brethren right his flesh and blood brethren and who betrayed him who turned their backs on him he didn't come for the Romans right he didn't come from Pontius Pilate and the Romans right but it says that he was received of those who he was not sent to right you know many who are called right get cast aside and many who wasn't even called they pick up the phone they answer the call as concerning the flesh Messiah came who is over all Elohim blessed forever right right and then he goes on to say not as though the word of Elohim had taken none effect for they are not all Yisrael who are of Israel they're all not they are fleshy Israel but they're not Israel according to the spirit see the real Nazarenes and the Talmudim the real followers of Yeshua Hanotri they were the real Israelites both Israelites in blood according to the flesh and Israelites according to the spirit but Paul now discerning that he says for they are not all Israel right who are of Israel so remember they're not all are truly Israel who are of Israel and ain't nothing new under the sun right and then he goes down further and as we go through this chapter he really breaks it down and builds it up right here one more verse I want to show you right here where Paul says right here he distinguishes why right? he says we are Jews right we are Jews by nature right some people say you know um, naughty by nature right but Paul says something right here when he talks about Jew and Gentile Paul says something very interesting here he says right here he says it says right here it said Jews by nature where's that verse Jews by okay let's put nature right there let's put nature right there so we can just get through this right here boom Galatians 2 15 must have uh, look overlooked it right but here Galatians 2 15 it says we who are Yehudim by nature by nature by nature and are not sinners not uckers of the Gentiles see they are they are sinners and we have our sin but our sin as Yehudi as Jews and as Israelites is different than the general sin and sinners of the Gentiles Paul clearly is saying that we are Yehudim by nature right and not sinners of the Gentiles so there again Paul is making a very interesting distinction this is why he says that to the Gentiles he magnify he magnify his office he magnify his office so once again right here brothers and sisters sisters and brothers let's ask this question did Yeshua die for our sins well it all depends on well who are we speaking about right who are we speaking about mm-hmm right one would say well first the Jew and then the Gentile well yeah that's why it's first to the Yehudi and then the Gentiles see the Gentiles nowadays they figure well we already tried bringing it to the Jew forget about the Jew and the Israelite now it's all for the Gentiles that is the counterfeit doctrine that is the Antichrist teaching that is counterfeit Christianity here we looked up Christ and died and we find eight verses right eight verses let's look at the first verse Romans 5 and 6 4 when we were yet without strength in due time Moshiach Messiah died for who for the ungodly for the ungodly amongst who for the ungodly among his own people he came to his own but his own received him not five and eight but Elohim commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners Chataim, Moshiach died he died for us he died because of us he died because of Yisrael because of the Yehudi 8 and 34 it says who is he that condemneth it is Moshiach that died yea rather moreover that is risen that is risen again who is even at the right hand of Elohim who also maketh 
intercession for us who make it intercession because of us because of who's the us here because of Yisrael Romans 14 9 for to this end Moshiach both died the Messiah both died and rose and was resurrected by Elohim Ha'ab and revived that he might be Adon Adawan Adon Lord Sovereign both of the living and the dead Romans 14 15 but if thy brother be grieved with thy meat in other words even here in what Paul's teaching is showing even the distinction between some of us as Yehudim and as Rastafari Yehudi and as Rastafari Jews who are not with the debtors you know not with the flesh the fleshy the debtors the flesh so Paul is showing here that even in the first century time there was this distinction even in that time there were those who were vegan Yehudi Jews who were vegan we can say vegetarian even like I and I as Rastafari who abstain from from the flesh from the debtors and return to what Elohim intended in the beginning so Paul is saying here but if thy brother Achika be grieved with thy meat the fact that you eat flesh you eat debtors now walkest thou not charitably you're not walking in love and righteousness destroy not him with thy meat with thy debtors thy flesh and blood with thy debtors because it uses for the Christian with your pork with your pork you know saying you know blaspheme in the scripture that now we can eat pork now pork and all kind of debtors is clean that's that's a further antichrist doctrine within counterfeit Christianity but destroy not him with thy meat with thy flesh he don't say destroy not him with thy vegetables with thy vegan he says destroy not him with thy meat with thy flesh for whom Moshiach Messiah died right or was put to death first Corinthians 8 11 and through thy knowledge shall the weak brother perish for whom Moshiach died the weak brother right and this is the chapter here where he, he further fulfills this contrast between the weak the weak who are vegan vegetarian and the strong who still eat debtors remind me of the Israelites in the wilderness remember first Corinthians 15 and 3 for I delivered here we are again to you first of all that which I also received Paul says here Rabbi Shaul Saul says how that Moshiach died for our sins on account of our sins because of our sins according to the scripture but here's a question for ones and ones what scripture which scripture is he pointing to here is being pointed to here what scripture is there any scripture any Old Testament scripture that says that Messiah Moshiach would die right for our sins for our uckery for our lack according to the scripture lastly but not leastly 2nd Corinthians 5 and 14 for the love of Moshiach the love of Messiah constraineth us because we thus judge we thus judge that if one died for all then were all dead right one died for all therefore all was dead so here 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 what is Paul teaching us here right what is Paul really saying here and why is there only one direct verse in the New Testament and in the scripture that we can point to that says that Moshiach that the Messiah died for our sins did he die for our sins or did he die because of Yisrael's sin did Yeshua did Jesus die for our sins or because of Israel's of Yisrael's Yasharala's sins we say that he died because of Yisrael Yasharala's sins here 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 so let's open the book right open the book and take a look it is written it is written right so he died for our sins or he died because of our sins for Israel for Yisrael he died because of our sins he died because Yisrael by and large put him to death 
El Cristo Negro, put him to death, according to the flesh, according to the flesh of El Cristo Negro, put him to death, right, for our sins. That's the context right there. See, a lot of things get lost in mistranslation. A lot of things get lost out of context, right? Yes, he died. He died for our sins. Not for every single sin that we did. No, he died for the sin of Israel was putting to death their Moshiach, their Messiah, turning their back on their Moshiach their Messiah. Interesting, we're showing you these iconographies, right? And you see how the other churches, the European churches, we can show you right here where they have no problem showing him in his true humanity. But those people who he came for, right? You know, still reject that, right? And prefer the counterfeit, Kaiser, Kaiser, Kazari, Kazar, Borgia, instead a little bit more on this right here brothers and sisters sisters and brothers we'll pick up with this a little bit more right here and get into a little more of this particular article right here right john 3 and 16 claims that you will have everlasting eternal life if you believe if you credit in him but there is no requirement in john 3 16 to believe to credit that yeshua that Yeshua died for our sins. John 3, 16, For Elohim so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Yahid, Yahid, that whosoever believeth, Ma'amen, Amen, crediteth, trusteth, admit as trueth in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. So what is this about? This is about whoever admits, admits, amains, credits in him, will not perish, but have eternal life, have life indefinite, life eternal. We will acknowledge that the phrase, gave his only begotten son, does imply a sacrifice, a giving. But there is no explicit indication that the sacrifice redeemed us from from our sins but for the children of Yisrael and for the Yehudi even we the black Jews it was because of our sin and our sin is wanting and seeking that righteous man who had done no wrong harm and betraying him over to the crucifixion betraying him over to the Romans through our teachers, our religious teachers, the scribes, the Pharisees, the lawyers, the doctors, all of them. Regardless, John 3.16 does not mean that and what Christians and many Christians had been made to believe, made to be lie Eve. Going to pick up a little bit more on how the Apostle Paul, Paulos, how did he come to the conclusion that Yeshua died for our sins? How is it based on Judaic, Hebraic thinking, right? Judaic thinking, right? But directly what Paul is saying is that Yeshua, as the Moshiach for Yisrael, he died because of our sin. The victim who was innocent, the murderer who was guilty of the intent to murder, the victim was murdered. The victim who was murdered and died, died because of the sin, because of the sin of the murderer. You get it? 